Welcome back, troglodytes, to the Trogly's Guitar Show. Have you ever been to a guitar store and you pick up a guitar and... It's just horribly out of tune, and you don't have a clip-on tuner with you, and you don't have anybody else around, you're too scared to ask somebody else to tune your guitar. What do you do? I'm going to teach you that today. This took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to actually figure out, but I've known how to do this for about a year or two now. I just thought I would share this video for people who are a little bit more new to guitar and are learning on their own. So you can actually use your other strings to help you tune your guitar. Now this method is not perfect for getting you to E, A, D, G, B, E. However, it will get you relatively close to at least an instrument that you can play. So first you're gonna wanna tune your traditionally low E string to whatever note you want. I'm shooting for E, so hopefully this is close. And then what you want to do is hold down the 5th fret of that string for your next string. So you hear that? That's what you want to aim for for your next string. And if it helps you, you can also play the harmonic for that note. And then I always like to double check myself by fretting the fifth note and playing the next open string. That sounds pretty good to me, but I have a terrible ear for these types of things. So now you just repeat that for your next two strings. And then once you get to your fourth string, the G string, you can't actually use the fifth fret anymore because that would be incorrect. You will want to use the fourth fret. But this is the only outlier of that, so it's the only one you have to remember to use the fourth fret. Unfortunately, that means you can't use the harmonic at this one either, so you just have to do the best tune by ear. And then it switches back to the 5th fret. So now you at least have a playable instrument. It might not be 100% perfect, but at least now you don't look like a big doofus over there playing a horribly out of tune guitar. So let's check to see how I did. So my bottom string, I was tuning to a D sharp tuning, I guess. I wasn't quite there to E. But as you can see, the next G string is about the same sharpness. The next string was about a half step too high, but the F was about right with the other two, as was the A and the D. So the only one I really got wrong was the third string. It was just a little bit too high. So there you go. I hope this helps you not feel like a complete fool at a guitar store and gives you at least a way to get a playable sounding instrument. I know it's common knowledge for a lot of us seasoned guitar players, but you'd be surprised how many people don't realize this. So I hope you troglodytes enjoyed this video, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care. <laughs>